In this hospital in the sky, which we call a nebula, baby stars are being born. At the centre of these cots of gas and dust, stars are coming to life as they begin to produce their own light. We can use special cameras to see them hiding behind the dust. Young planets and moons form from the disk of material around each star. But just like humans, stars born at the same time can be very different to one another. Meet Otis. He's a big, blue, extremely hot O-type star. Otis is 60 times more massive than our sun. He can be wild and hot-tempered, huffing and puffing to give off the strongest stellar winds and throwing his material out into space. Stars like Otis are rare, and due to their energetic behaviour, they only live for a few million years. Otis will end his life with a violent supernova explosion and turn into a black hole. <laughs> we definitely wouldn't want to be living on a planet around a star like Otis. Georgie is a G-type star and was born in the same nebula. Georgie is a small, hot, yellow star, but not as hot as Otis and nowhere near as bright. She's far calmer than Otis, but still has a few tantrums letting off her frustration at strong winds and flares. Georgie will live for 10 billion years, after which she'll expand into a red giant star and throw off her outer layers of gas to form a beautiful nebula. Our sun is a lot like Georgie. We've got another 5 billion years until our sun expands into a red giant, growing to swallow up Mercury and Venus and eventually scorching the Earth. It will end its life as a small white dwarf star. And this is Marcus. He's a much smaller, cooler red M-type star. Almost three quarters of the stars in our galaxy are like Marcus, but they're so dim we can't see them without a telescope. Although he still has lots of wild flares, Marcus's slow and stingy use of fuel means he will live for trillions of years. A planet around a star like Marcus could be an ideal home for us after it becomes too hot for us to live on Earth. We could live happily for trillions of years if we find a world that has the right temperature for liquid water and a suitable atmosphere for us to breathe. Maybe we could watch the sun evolve to the next stage of its life and the leftovers of our solar system will become a nursery for the next family of stars.